where y'all eyes gonna see. So the title of this one is Y'all Ass is Gonna See. I should have named it Y'all Ass Gonna See because your eyes is too fucking blind. But, um, I'm gonna give the people a minute to get in here. And we're gonna have a discussion. And we're gonna talk about how our people, the ones that is the tribes. I ain't talking about the imposters that look like us that ain't us now. I'm talking about us. Right? So, <clears throat> me and Empress Redbird is coming to get all our shit for our tribes. And the tribes is bucking the authority. They bucking the jurisdiction with no facts. Everybody got an opinion. Just like everybody got an asshole. And some of y'all opinions smell worse than your asshole. You're so full of shit that it comes out as an opinion. Right? So, um, yeah. So you got a lot of people hmm, call themselves the bunk and the empress and her, her documents. And it got nothing to do with whether they like her or don't like her. Most of the people mad because they not the ones who got a loyal title to the land. So they say her loyal title is not real. They mad because they don't have a track record. See, before I ever met Empress Rearbird, this is what people don't know. I keep telling y'all they was giving her the receipt that matched the work that I was doing. When I put them motherfuckers on notice back in 28, uh, back on July the 4th, 2019, come on now, they, 13 days later, July the 6th, I gave them the public notice to return our shit. 13 days later. That's called a queen mother seal for those who ain't never dealt with them large motherfuckers, which takes me to another point. Everybody that's a Mason or a Freemason ain't bad, and everybody that's a Mason or a Freemason ain't good. All of those lettered organizations from the universities and the college and the HBCUs, all the motherfuckers ain't good, but all the motherfuckers ain't bad. All these motherfuckers is being tricked and trapped in contracts. They being deceived, tricked, trapped in a contract. This is why I wasn't allowed to get alphabets behind my name. So when I tell y'all something, it ain't from the university giving white man lies. And the white man ain't even fucking white. That's why they white man lies. The first lie is that the white man white. The next lie is that these red niggas over here in America is black, right? But the truth of the matter is, is this a terms in the chess game that we playing against each other? Oh, God, you devil, George Burns, the devil and the goddamn God sitting across the table from each other playing chess. The devil lost, been lost. But you got the people that we fighting for undermining us fighting for them, Right? They not saying, um, well, I've been dealing with these people this amount of time, and they gave me this document right here to prove who the fuck I am. First of all, if you were sovereign, you born that way. And everybody who think you need a piece of paper to validate your sovereignty is a mental slave. I'm going to repeat that. This is for all you good moors out there to know the difference between a righteous moor and a dirty moor. Everybody who believe they need a piece of paper to substantiate, validate your sovereign status, you a mental slave. I'm going to let that sink in while I like my brunt.
Just so y'all know that I wasn't misspoken. I'm going to say it one more time. Anybody who believes that you need a piece of per paper to validate your sovereign status is a mental slave. Not only is you a mental slave, you've been deceived by the enemy. You was born sovereign. Your blood quantum determines your level of understanding your status as a sovereign. You don't need no fucking paperwork. We've been doing the oral tradition long before the motherfuckers ever came over here, but y'all don't remember that shit. How is a piece of paper, whether it's an alloyal title or whether it's a nationality card, first of all, if you got a nationality, you on the same status as a vessel at sea. If a ship is on the ocean, it's a citizen to whoever flag it fly. You classified as civilly mortis, presumed dead, lost at sea. How did you get that way? How did you get to be presumed dead and lost at sea? You don't even know. This is why you call it black, but you don't even know. I'm going to walk you through it. They claim we crashed our land mass into their ship called the Plymouth. Malcolm told y'all clear as day and they played repeatedly. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. The good ship Plymouth is also known in your history book says the Mayflower. Go look it up. The Mayflower is the Plymouth and the Plymouth is the one that levied the lien on the land. But it's not a regular lien. It's a salvage right. And the salvage right when you find a shipwreck, you stake a claim to the shipwreck and you raise your flag on the ocean and you say, hey, I found this ship. And then you got to give people the opportunity to claim the ship. We the fucking ships. Every sovereign individual is the shipwreck. We the shipwreck. This is why you classified in law as civilly mortis. Black in law. <clears throat> Another reason those tribes, what we call totem clans or root tribes, had to come forth from the darkness of antiquity to step to the front to show you motherfuckers what's going on behind your back in your motherfucking face. They keeping this secret squirrel shit so that y'all don't ever know this government is a whole corporation has nothing to do with administering governmental procedures. It has nothing to do with uh, um, administering what they call jurisprudence. This, it don't have nothing to do with none of that. The corporation got one job and one job only. Return the wealth of the land of the people that you settle under the um, discovery doctrine to the crown that you're from, England, France, and Spain. So you either got loyalty to England, France, and Spain because they got a copyright, a patent on everything you file with them to give them jurisdiction to control everything you do as an imbecile in law. Y'all not getting this shit. The Empress paperwork is them surrendering. It don't got nothing to do with it being uh, validated by them. It got everything to do with us understanding why they gave it to her. Right? If you don't know why they gave it to her, then you don't know the work that's been done. You're going to perceive it as a fraud. I'm going to say that again. If you don't know why they gave it to her, and the work they responding to to get it to her, you lost in the sauce. <laughs> we the ones that's fucked up. But we was fucked up on purpose by some motherfucking outsiders. The tribes used to know their traditions and their culture. Dr. Clark told y'all clear as day. I'm going to post it for y'all to see it again. It's already in my receipt log on my, on my Instagram page. 
Dr. Clark said, this is a war on our culture. This is not a war for anything else but to destroy your culture so bad that when it comes to closing out the age, which is the redemption period, don't none of y'all follow the redemption process that was written by your ancestors or spoken by your ancestors, I should say, long before Columbus came. This should happen every 26,000 years, and every 26,000 years, we the dumbest motherfuckers in the world for about 50 years. Every 26,000 years, we the dumbest motherfuckers in the world for about 50 years. Then something happens. Somebody step up and say, I'm the widow, son. And if you follow me long enough, I'm going to produce the widow. This don't got nothing to do with um, foreign corporations doing business under the false pretenses of government. But all these motherfuckers want the government to validate them. Fuck that government. Wipe your ass with the Constitution because it expired. Right? It was a blood ritual done. Most of y'all don't know this. The blood ritual is expired once it's revealed to the people. The blood ritual was to write the Constitution in Crispus Atticus' blood, one of the chiefs from the land, so we would be forced to follow that dumbass shit. Y'all don't even know that none of the judiciary of the land are Article Three judges. Only ones, Article Three. It's only a few. Right? You going in the court and you don't even know what joinder of the parties mean. You don't even know why they arraigning you before they start the process. You don't know what none of that shit is. You don't know nothing about style and title. You don't know what that means. You don't know that all of these states written in block letters is not proper style and title. So you will automatically fall for all of their dumb shit. The Pope declared that the whole world was stupid. And since all of these earth motherfuckers are some dummies, I'm going to take the initiative to administer their estate until they ain't dummies no more. We imbeciles in law, according to papal decree, which is a series of papal bulls. You don't even know what a papal bull is. But it's a series of papal bulls that culminated in the discovery doctrine, the white man's burden, and global warfare. They've been warning y'all about the new world order, and none of y'all never stopped to say, hey, Columbus allegedly found the new world. Well, what in the fuck is the new world order then? If the new world order is coming, see, they telling y'all history as if it's a future projection. The white man ain't white. The new world order ain't new. It been around at least since 14 motherfucking 92 when Columbus found the new world. In order to administer the estates of the new world, you have to put some kind of order to that shit. Y'all don't get it. Malachi been telling us for years that the devil is relying on us to fight each other so we don't never overthrow his motherfucking ass. Farrakhan and Elijah have been telling us for years that the devil want us fighting each other so we won't never overthrow his ass. Right? Martin said the same shit in a different way. Right? But when he went to go get the check, they said, oh no, shoot that nigga. But we want to call Martin a traitor we want to call Garvey a traitor. We want to call Dubois a traitor. You don't even know what the fuck they fighting for. How you going to call them a traitor? You don't even know what the work they doing. You don't even understand what they saying with the words because you ain't don't even know half the words definition that you speak yourself. Catch a motherfucker off guard. He going to say a word. It could be a common word like the. Nigga, what do that mean? What's the definition of the word the? When you look that motherfucker up, it's going to be a big ass definition like if. How can if have one of the longest definitions in the dictionary and it's only a two letter word? 
but I don't know what I'm talking about. I got five years of accumulated receipts proving everything that I said was going to happen, not because I'm a prophet, because they told us they was going to do it. And I told y'all what they told us in our face, behind our back. But because y'all don't read the symbolism that they be talking to us in, you automatically assume that I don't read they shit. I've been telling y'all since the beginning, y'all watching the motherfucking movie and I'm watching the director behind the scenes telling the motherfucking actor where is his other position. You got to slide over to the left. You're too close to the other actor in the frame. You're going to cause a distortion in the video um, um, output to the people that are going to understand it. So you got to give them some space. I'm watching the director. Y'all watching the final cut, the Joe Biden fiasco. <laughs> And half of these motherfuckers haven't even realized to this day, four years into the Biden administration before the next canceled election come up, that the motherfucker is not the same Joe Biden that ran with with, uh, with Obama. How many of y'all knew it was a whole psyop, the Obama and Biden campaign? See, the Bushes tricked the shit out of us. Because they got us chasing Osama bin Laden for eight motherfucking years. So when Obama, Joe Biden pop up, the homonym connection automatically clicked to make y'all niggas run to the polls like y'all was finna get us free by voting for this motherfucking traitor sellout ass nigga who didn't do nothing for us while he was in office, but he showed lined the pockets of some dirty moors overseas. He sure got some of the righteous motherfucking leaders of the world assassinated, but we don't want to talk about that, right? We don't want to talk about him telling Trump, I mean, telling uh, Farrakhan, I ain't fighting for the people in the hood. I'm trying to get the uptown vote. We don't want to talk about that shit, right? While they running this whole theatrical performance in front of your face, they making moves behind your back. I'm trying to tell you what the next move is. And y'all want to cut me down. I'm trying to tell you that don't fall for that motherfucking trick. You trying to convince me David Copperfield made the elephant disappear. Nigga, I know how the trick work. <coughs> you trying to tell me that the whole DC-10 airplane, David Copperfield made it disappear. I know the trick. I know about the mirror magic in the motherfucking curtains and the motherfucking shifting of the goddamn um, lenses in order to give you an artificial perception of some shit that ain't even there. Right? But y'all don't... See, if you've been, been around a while, you know, when I tell you something, I tell you, you got a right to disagree with me. You don't never have to agree with nothing I'm saying. But don't argue with me. Because I, I can be wrong. Argue with these receipts to validate what I said. But they don't want to do that. Because now they have to address a material issue of fact in the court of public opinion. In the court of public opinion, a whole lot of righteous motherfuckers have been thrown under the bus by some wicked motherfuckers and convinced y'all, the wicked motherfucker convinced y'all the righteous motherfucker was the dirty motherfucker and because he had on the uniform, he was right. This is why the police walk, because they got on uniforms. They part of the commercial code. And the commercial code is the code that keeps your mind locked into their narrative. Right? The sisters know in their heart of hearts if I'm telling the truth or not. The oracles know if y'all think I'm bullshitting. Pay some of them motherfucking card readers and tea readers on YouTube to do a spread on this shit. Tell the motherfuckers, ask Spirit, who the fuck is this nigga Rod Hayes? And what the fuck is he talking about? Ask the Spirit. Don't believe me. Because, see, this something about tarot card readers and runes and I Ching. Don't know two readers ever agree on shit. They always gonna get a different interpretation and a different perception from the way spirit talk to them. 
But when they all start agreeing on some shit, y'all niggas should pay attention. Y'all should pay attention. But y'all think that's some made up shit because they told y'all that them motherfuckers is evil when they doing the devil work and all the time the devil's doing a job on your ass. I'm sitting here waiting. I hear a lot of bickering. I hear a lot of complaining. A lot of name calling. A lot of backbiting. And a lot of undermining going on. But what I don't see is nobody saying, that nigga might be fighting for me too. Let me reach out to him in solidarity. No. That nigga want to cut me down. Say, I don't know what I'm talking about. And I got 450 pounds of receipts backing me up. That's if you print them all out on a piece of paper. A small piece said that. It's still going to weigh about 450 pounds. Right? And it ain't over to the fat lady singing. The fat lady name is Receipt. And she's singing like a motherfucker. They telling me I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm sitting here watching the receipts receding. The math is mathing. The calculus is calculating. And all of this shit is still coming up the same. Our biggest problem is just us against us. It's niggas from the tribes who think that they the only motherfucker in the tribe. They the only motherfucker got a chief. And only they chief count. We supposed to feel like that until we realize that we all under attack to the same level. When I came out, I've been saying from the beginning, you can go back and look. I'm not here for no one clan. I could just fight for my clan and leave the rest of them hanging and whatever I get, break bread with my, with my clan. But there would be a problem. There would be other clans displaced, left out, needs unmet, when if you're going to fight for one of us, you're supposed to fight for all of us. But the niggas that you're fighting for, that's why I say it's the audacity of the leader. The niggas that you're fighting for is the number one motherfuckers going to attack you and re reach out to destroy you for fighting for them. And they don't even know you fighting for them because they ain't never had a conversation with you. They don't know you from Iraq and Iraq. They don't know your heart. They don't know your intentions. They just assuming because they ain't the one presenting this information to the public putting it in the public domain for all of the tribes to make decisions about whether they want to overthrow the enemy or keep the enemy in power. You niggas still want a slave, master. Y'all don't want no motherfucking free. All these motherfucking niggas is coming out on some, uh, I'm going to rebut some shit. You're going to re -ass yourself. That's the only rebut you're going to do. Make yourself the ass again. Put yourself back at the back of the bus. Because it's already written. And I'm telling y'all now, everybody going to get what they earn, good, bad, or indifferent. Blessed are the ones that see me before I reveal myself. Because once I reveal myself, it's too late. Tear me down now. Get it out the way. Now I know which one of you motherfuckers don't deserve shit. Because y'all motherfuckers is trying to sabotage the glory of the return of the great mother. Y'all motherfuckers is trying to tell Big Mama how to run her house and you motherfuckers can't run your own house. Half of you motherfuckers can't raise kids because the kids is fucked up because the parents is fucked up because the fucked up system fucked the parents up so they can intentionally fuck the kids up. All this shit that's out there and motherfuckers is kicking and screaming for what? For what? Oh, this nigga coming to get our shit. Nigga, I'm coming to get it for your dumb ass. I don't want your shit. I only want what's mine. But before I get mad, I'm going to make sure my sisters got their shit. Because my mom raised me to make sure that nobody take nothing from my brothers and my sisters. And right now, the sisterhood is displaced. The hierarchy of the spirit is undermined on the physical earth by patriarchal idiots. Drag queens is running this bitch. Homosexual pedophile cults. And y'all want to tear me down for speaking up and trying to get the great mother put back on her seat so we can get our shit back in proper order. 
And you motherfuckers ain't ready to put the house back in order. Y'all motherfuckers want to stay slaves. Don't even know you a slave, but you will argue me down that you not a slave, but you do all of the dumb shit that you would if you was. I bet your ass won't be late for work. I walked off my job five years ago and ain't looked back. Fuck them motherfuckers. I don't need them. I can live off the fat of the land. I can feed me and my family off the fat of the land. I know how to get it from the dirt. My chief said, we brain banging, we ain't gang banging. So, welcome to Brain Bang University, motherfuckers. I'm the motherfucking dean of the university, and I'm going to brain bang your ass into submission, because when this shit all said and done, you motherfuckers is going to be saying, I thought that nigga ain't know what he was talking about. Stop thought and start thinking, motherfucker. You thought. I didn't mean. Well, I was trying to. Nigga, I'm not trying nothing. I'm doing this shit. I'm revealing this shit. And I ain't even the smartest motherfucker in the crew. I'm just got this particular set of skills that's more advantageous at the current moment than the smartest motherfuckers. Because sometimes the smart motherfuckers is too goddamn smart for their own goddamn good. They sabotage themselves with their high intellectual ability to fail. Right? All that's going to do is make you feel harder because you're too goddamn smart for your own good. They used to tell us that shit so that we wouldn't speak up and get murdered. Now I'm telling that shit because y'all motherfuckers speaking up against the wrong motherfuckers. I'm not going to murder you. But goddamn it, when the shit come down the pike, it's all recorded. Every one of you motherfuckers going to step up with your motherfucking hands out trying to get in and get at the table. Ain't no room for you motherfucking hating ass motherfuckers. Backbiting, backstabbing ass motherfuckers. There's no room at Big Mama Table for you motherfuckers. We have already got rid of you. So you go ahead and show your true colors down, but you don't know what the fuck you talking about. You don't recognize the motherfuckers that do know what they talking about. You allow the enemy to dictate who you can like and who you can't like. You let them lie on the motherfuckers that's righteous and tell you that the motherfuckers is actually doing that shit wasn't really doing it. Right? They'll throw a motherfucking Bill Cosby who done spent more money than some of you motherfuckers ever seen in your life to get as many of us educated as possible. And y'all gonna believe that the bitches he was tricking with for motherfucking quaaludes and motherfucking uh, ups and downers. That's what they was doing back then. But because he was a trick willy, y'all want to believe he a rapist. Y'all rather believe he a rapist than understand the culture of the error and that they was trading them motherfucking pills for sex. The same way niggas was trading crack for sex in the 80s and 90s. The shit didn't change. Motherfuckers trading Percocets for sex now. But y'all thinking that because they want to rewrite the narrative 35 years later, oh, he had to be guilty of something. Y'all watch these motherfuckers set R. Kelly ass up because he's a retard. And I don't mean that in a vicious environment. He's literally an idiot savant. He, don't, he can't tell a 12-year-old from a 30-year-old. He retarded. And then y'all let these motherfuckers, every story is the same. He was in the studio making some music and some niggas brought some bitches to him and they just so happened to be underage. They knew the nigga was retarded. Why they didn't bring in some old enough women? Because they was setting him up from the word go. Because somebody put, put R. Kelly in a pretty position financially for when he become a retarded ass senior citizen. He can only access so much money at a time. And all of his motherfucking masters they've been trying to steal is the reason he's in prison. But y'all think because um, all of those motherfuckers, why they got prosecuting the motherfuckers that was feeding the babies to him? That's what I'm trying to find out. While y'all trying to find out why a retarded motherfucker did some shit, I want to know why the same motherfucker that's not retarded, that's not an idiot that brought them kids to this man, I want to know why them niggas not being prosecuted for human trafficking. See, they got to be part of some club. 
that we ain't a part of. Because their names don't never come out. And half of them is bitches. And I literally said bitches. Because they do bitch shit that bitches do. Some of them, some of these girls' own parents fed their motherfucking babies to R. Kelly. Because he fucking retarded and they know it. Go back. Go look it up. He can't, he's mentally and intellectually, he's not, he's not smarter than a second grader. This is what you know not paying attention to. Y'all not watching these setups. Right? Y'all not watching. Y'all don't even pull the Judge Bornstein, who was the family judge for 50 years, reports on why these kids cry rape on the motherfucker that didn't do it and don't cry rape on the dirty motherfucker. Y'all not paying attention. But y'all only going to see what y'all want to see. I don't got no problem with that. But you can't tell me I don't see what the fuck I see. Just because you don't see it. And you can't tell me I'm wrong when I know I'm right. I wouldn't give a fuck if the whole United States went against what I'm saying. I know I'm right about some shit. I'm not backing fucking down. It's 8.4 billion people. It'll be 8.4 billion to one. If I know I'm right, I'm not backing the fuck up. I'm not backing down. Ain't no hesitancy in nothing I'm motherfucking saying to y'all. I know exactly what I'm saying, and I'm perfectly clear in this shit. The government know what I'm saying, and they perfectly clear in this shit. It's just that y'all not watching the play between the tribal government and the fall of the motherfucking corporate fiction. If you watch the dynamics, it's every time I say something, it's a response from the government that y'all don't see. Sometimes I post it, sometimes I just look at it and start laughing and say, these silly niggas don't see it. Y'all don't want to be free. Stop asking to be free. Stop asking for y'all shit back you're not ready for. First of all, if they gave us our shit, everybody going to be rich. Who going to fucking work in the morning? Who going to work in the morning? We all going to be rich. Who the fuck going to work in the morning? What we going to do about the people at the gas station? Because we going to run out of gas because ain't nobody going to want to pump that shit. Ain't nobody going to want to work behind the counter. What are we going to do? Everybody rich, level, the playing field leveled in the motherfucker. What the fuck is we going to do? Who going to work? Everybody over here that's in the Americas right now then been victim to the same rogue entity. And we all going to get paid for being a victim once we discover how it worked. And in my literature, it tells us is who, what, when, where, why, and how. I didn't name all that shit. I didn't name all that shit. I told you who did it, where they came from, when they came, how they did it, how they tricked us, where the trick is at, who did the deception, who did the conjure. And y'all motherfuckers still dragging y'all feet talking about a nigga don't know what he talking about. Telling you when I produce Big Mama that Big Mama don't know what she talking about. But y'all won't go. I tell you what, this is what we gonna do. Maybe around the end of the month, right? We'll let Donald J tell y'all who she is. Since y'all want to believe pale face so bad, we're going we gonna to wait till Donald J identify her to y'all. That way, we ain't got to even be out here talking no more. We can just sit back and let these motherfuckers tell you, since you don't want to believe it coming from your own, maybe you will believe it coming from a motherfucker that don't look like us. Because they look like Indians to Indians. They don't, they don't look like Indians to Indians, and they sure as hell don't look like Indians to me. Who the fuck is these $5 motherfuckers and they about to be $2.50 in change and about to split their ass down the middle? Who is that? If they don't look like Indians to Indians and they don't look like Indians to Paleface, who the fuck is they? Where they come from? 
Did you track the wars that was fought before the American invasion to see who was the servants of the motherfuckers that was ruling at the time? Nope. Because I tell you in the history books, when they came, they brought their servants and slaves with them. If they brought their servants and slaves with them, you got to know who they was putting in slavery before they came. They was fighting the Huns under the Roman Empire and under the Ottoman Empire. They was fighting the Vedics under the Roman and Greek empires and under the motherfucking, um, they was fighting the motherfucking uh, Mongolians under the Roman Empire before they divided Europe into proper nations. They were imperial governments. I don't want to talk about that shit. Why do we bring all these pale faces over here on the other side after they've been telling us that we motherfucking been slaves? Because they was using pale faces to block the institutions, but y'all wouldn't know nothing about that. Because y'all still trying to get in the brown paper bag club. Mm -hmm. Fuck your club and your brown paper bag. I will put it on your head until you suffocate. This is ridiculous. Right? The whole thing is they pass these motherfuckers off to be natives. Train them in Indian training schools on how to be a fucking Indian. We didn't need no Indian training schools, nigga. We still do the same fucking shit we've been doing all the time because it's in our DNA. Land dance. The second line. Jitting. Sea walking. Be walking, ballroom. What? Where the music come from? They said we the salt of the earth, motherfucker. If we the salt of the earth, we give it all the flavor and the swag. So, where is all of the flavor and the swag coming from? Take hip hop culture out of it. And what cultures do you have permeating the planet? Rock and roll. Okay, who invented that shit? Well, yeah, some niggas invented that shit. Take rock and roll out of it. And then what culture do you have permeating the world? Oh, man, it was blues then. Who invented that shit? Let's go back even further. Let's go back to the early 1900s when they was doing spirit rap. They was playing Scott Joplin, ragtag. Who invented that shit? Some more niggas. <coughs> The ragtime of Scott Joplin produced what we call the music industry. It started off selling sheet music. How many of y'all know that? It used to be a penny a sheet for sheet music. Right? Sometimes you can get a book of sheet music for a nickel. Now an album costs you $29.95 with 10 songs on it. What happened? Somebody was monetizing something somewhere. Sharecropper agreements is keeping the, the, the uh, artists in poverty. Why do you think they got a club called the Starving Artists? Because they starving because a motherfucker is getting all of the salt of the earth for free. In the name of a contract. So I have had several calls from Jamaican and from Jamaican uh, and several other items, like four or five different items. People call me and they want to know what's going to happen with the island. The islands are going to be instructed for each island to re-establish their own government in the oust the legal fiction. The only one that's publicly separated from the crown already that announced it is Barbados. They're the first ones, but they still having financial problems because the entirety of the system isn't over. Right? So they're going to still have financial problems, but when it's all over with, you got to watch Jamaica, uh, Haiti. Haiti the big deal. Why y'all laughing? They building a canal in Haiti that's the symbol for the return of the sweet water and the re reconstruction of a birth canal of the great mother. But y'all don't see that shit because y'all only see what the media tell y'all that it's a bunch of rogue motherfuckers in Haiti decided to just start digging a canal. 
They just decided to put a canal up just to piss off the Dominicans. Come on now. They got all of the motherfuckers from the Haitian Revolution and descendants is here close that shit out. Right? And Haiti said they don't want no motherfuckers coming over there talking about no humanitarian aid and the only people they will accept is the nations from Africa. They don't want nobody. They don't trust nobody else. They say every time somebody come to Haiti for humanitarian aid, hundreds of thousands of kids come up missing. You know, they don't want no motherfuckers up, outsiders coming down there stealing their babies. They just done with that shit. If you ain't got the motherfucking special invitation from the Haitian government, from the Haitian people to come down there and support, and if you ain't got Haitian blood, I would not advise you to go down there fucking around because you're going to fuck around and find out the hard way. They already said who they willing to accept assistance from. Everybody else can put the money up, but if you step boots on the ground and you make the wrong move, your ass is baked. Yep, Hillary is one of the causes of this shit. They don't want nobody from America, unless they from Haiti originally, to come down there doing shit. Because Hillary Clinton and her little Evergreen clan, Project Evergreen was a human trafficking network. But y'all don't know nothing about that, because y'all assume that everything that we tell y'all is a conspiracy theory and some made-up-ass shit. And we're telling y'all who doing the dirt. We're showing y'all who doing the dirt. Hillary Clinton CIA code name is Evergreen because she was put over Project Evergreen, which is a human trafficking network with their fingers in every motherfucking third world country, siphoning babies back to Europe and America for these so-called elites to have their motherfucking pedophilic ways with. But y'all want to accuse all of the motherfuckers that's trying to drag them motherfuckers out with the shit that they doing. Cointel Pro. Half these motherfuckers part of the FBI's snitch program and don't even fucking know they snitching. Traitor ass motherfuckers. Half these motherfuckers is infiltrators for Cointel Pro and they too stupid to know they being used by the system to infiltrate their own goddamn plans and to bring their own shit to their ground. Y'all motherfuckers better wake up. They motherfucking MO has not changed in 500 years of this shit. And if the M.O. haven't changed in 500 years and you niggas ain't caught on, maybe you niggas do need to be on this motherfucking tight end of a real short rope over a real high bridge. Maybe that's what you need. Maybe they we, we need to let them motherfuckers come back and start motherfucking free-falling motherfuckers off cliffs and shit. Because y'all in the way of yourself. You ain't in my way because you ain't going to stop me. Ain't there one of these motherfuckers finna stop what I'm doing? These motherfuckers know who I am. They watch me on a big ass screen in Raven Rock, Colorado. They watching right now. They know I know they watching. And I know that they know that I know they watching. That's why I tell you motherfuckers every time, this is not a Rod Hayes thing. This is a unified tribal motion being made. It's a whole bunch of tribes involved, but your tribe might not be consciously aware of it because you got a fake-ass chief in the front misleading the people before he can get rich and live high off the hog while his people live in poverty. The same thing the preachers was doing. They just doing under the pretense of being the chief. I ain't asking motherfucker for shit. And I could get it from the dirt. I can feed myself, clothe myself, Drop me in the goddamn woods, give me a Bowie knife, butt naked, and I guarantee you I'll come out that motherfucker with a motherfucking bear skin suit on and some goddamn alligator shoes. I'm prepared for whatever the contingency is on the fallout. I can survive in any condition on this planet. I done researched them all from the Arctic to the Antarctic. From meridian to meridian, I know it's this. I haven't seen nowhere where I wouldn't be able to survive. The only thing that the only place that would be kind of risky is Australia because they got so much motherfucking poisonous shit out there. You get bit by a fly and drop dead in three steps. That's the only place that it cause a problem. But believe me, I'm gonna figure that shit out quick. But everybody got something to say 
because they don't want it to be this nigga. And we don't want this nigga. I don't give a fuck. My mama prepared me for all of the naysayers. She prepared me for all of the backbiters. She prepared me for all of the haters. She prepared me for all of the traitors. The ones who profess to be family but do enemy shit. The one that come in the name of a friend to stab you in the back. I see them all coming. That's why they stick me in the cave. So I don't got to deal with them motherfuckers. Because I know who they all is. Right? And since I know who they all is, it's only a handful of motherfuckers I'm going to work with. Because I know who that handful is. They all battle tested. Y'all want to ride with motherfuckers that ain't battle tested. That ain't never had to run up against none of this shit. Right? I walked through the belly of the beast. I sat and looked in the eyes of serial killers and homicidal maniacs. And them motherfuckers couldn't understand why everybody else looked in their eyes had fear. I ain't got none of that shit. Because I'd be a serial killer's serial killer. Call me motherfucking, uh, what's that motherfucking name? The serial killer that kills serial killers. Whatever the fuck his name is. Y'all not going to stop the rise of the matriarchy. It's going to come into full fruition. It's too late for anybody to stop me now. Because the claim has been stated in the public domain, but there's been no reasonable dispute. I've listened to quite a few of them. Most of them is just what we call a signifying, just talking about a motherfucker. Right? And um, professing, like they do at their universities, they profess that we don't know what we're talking about or that the paperwork made up, but watch the government response. That's what you watch. Since you don't want to believe us, watch what Donald J. end up telling you. Since you think we don't know what we're talking about, wait till these chiefs roll up out of Raven Rock, Colorado. Then they're going to be like, I will, I will. I'm going to stop moaning your ass lying already. Right? So, this is not a personal vendetta against anybody. But everybody that want to rise up against us, just remember, we fighting for your dumb ass too. If you're too stupid to see it, then that's on you. And all of your motherfucking backbiting, undermining, right? All that is the shit right there that's going to get you left behind. Y'all better go read them motherfucking left behind series. You can see what you're getting left behind too. You motherfuckers going to be the mercy of your own demons and your own consciousness. Y'all don't do no shadow work. Always pointing the finger at another motherfucker, but never realize your dumb ass got three fingers pointing back at you. You point your fingers at everybody else, but you got three fingers pointing right back at your ass. That mean you three times as motherfucking guilty as the motherfucker you point out. <laughs> Blind, deaf, and dumb. All three of them. Blind, deaf, and dumb. I didn't come here and start doing social media that I hate with a passion just to be on social media. I didn't come here looking for no friends. I didn't come in this motherfucker looking for no money because I know that shit fake, fiat. I ain't come looking for nothing. I came because my other chiefs, my elder chiefs said, hey, Rod, we need you to hit them books and hit them hard. When you come out, we need you to have something to tell the people that we can all benefit from. I said, okay. That's part of self-work anyway. It's part of building up who I am. It's adding on to my character. Motherfuckers don't think I know what I... Ask my brother and my sister how much money over the 16 years I was locked up they spent on my books. That ain't got nothing to do with the library I read or the books I bought out of my own pocket with my penitentiary job. It don't got nothing to do with that. Just the, just the books they bought me was a college tuition. But, but no, this nigga don't know what he talked about. 
Mama say, everybody else don't know what you're doing because it ain't everybody 